Hey y'all, Mike here from allamerican.org, and today we're talking about how to find hunting clothes made in the USA. Today, over 97% of the clothes purchased in the US are not manufactured here. Big box retailers and manufacturers are cutting corners when it comes to making high quality clothes, and the same goes for hunting gear. So, in today's video, we're going to help you find some hunting gear that is made in the USA, specifically clothing. Now, per usual, we also have a written guide on this topic, so if you want to read that on allamerican.org, make sure to check the link in the description below. And for more research and buying guides on shopping American made, make sure to head over to allamerican.org for all of our content. So we'll cover all of our usual sections in today's breakdown on how to find hunting clothes that are made in the USA, some of the top brands out there that are assembling and sourcing a lot of their materials from US suppliers, and covering some of the big brands in the industry and where they're actually made. Starting off with a couple of tips on material sourcing, a lot of tactical clothing these days is made from synthetic materials like blends of nylon and polyester. A lot of brands have come up with their own unique formulas and synthetic blends of fabric, so you may see some confusing names out there. Now there are an abundance of US suppliers for these raw materials, but the US is not the global leader in production of synthetic materials like these. So it's really just best if they don't disclose the source of those materials on their website to call the brand or email them and find out. Especially with cold weather hunting gear, you'll often find down in a lot of those clothes as well. Now I've talked about down a couple of times on this channel. If you're looking at goose down feathers, it's really tough to find US based suppliers for that material. Most of the goose feather market is dominated by Canada, parts of Europe and Asian countries. Now we do have some options for US suppliers. I'll talk about a brand a little later for low. They use a duck down farm uh, out of Indiana. Outside of those materials, you'll also see stuff like cotton, obviously the metal hardware that's on a lot of tactical gear. Just make sure to, again, check the sources, do your research, call or email the brand if you need to, to find out where that stuff is from. But generally, there's a lot of good American sourcing options for those types of materials. I won't get into labeling too much in this video, but just make sure to watch out for those qualifiers. You wanna look for made in the USA phrasing specifically, not stuff like assembled in the USA or designed in the USA and other stuff that may indicate that they don't source their raw materials here. For, so for a full breakdown on all of those tips for finding American made products and labeling, I have a full explainer video on all of that, which I'll again, I'll link in the description below as well as the cards at the top of the video. All right, now let's get into some of the American-made brands for hunting clothes. And if I miss any of your favorites, make sure to leave a comment below. First up is For Low. For Low is based in Whitefish, Montana, and it's making some very high quality hunting clothes for men, women, and kids. They're a little bit more on the expensive side, but they have some amazing tactical gear, everything from jackets to vests to pants, shirts, and everything in between. Now going on the opposite end of the budget spectrum, let's talk about All American Clothing Co. Now I mentioned these guys a bunch on this channel. They are a retailer of a lot of good American manufacturers, but have some good basic hunting clothes. If you're looking for some more affordable options, definitely check out their online store. They have a lot of good stuff. Next up is Blackstock. These guys are based out of Charlotte, North Carolina and source a lot of their raw materials from suppliers all over the Southeast. They make some really good tactical gear that is made for a wide variety of environments. Their altitude jackets and vests in particular are a really popular option, so definitely make sure to check those out. Next up is Cry Precision. Cry Precision is based in New York and makes military grade combat gear and tactical gear for armed forces members as well as outdoorsmen. And while you may not need any armor for your next turkey hunt, they make some great tactical gear that is incredibly durable. Next up is Origin. Origin makes a wide variety of hunting clothes and tactical gear out of their manufacturing facility in Maine. They are super picky about their supply chain and pretty much all of their sourcing follows the Berry Amendment standard, so you know that it's coming from American-made sources. Origin is also one of our favorite jeans manufacturers, so if you need some new jeans as well as some new hunting clothes, definitely give them a look. And the last brand I'll mention in today's video is XGO. XGO is based out of Southern Pines, North Carolina, and if you need something flame resistant, they're a really good option. 
They make tactical apparel that is certified fly safe by the US Air Force. They also have several phases of clothing going up in performance as you go from phase one to phase four. And a couple of bonus brands to throw out there, Gulch Gear and Go Wild Camo. Really like both of these options, although they do have some materials that are sourced internationally, so just watch out for those. All right, let's get into some of the big players in the industry and where they're actually made. First up, are Ball and Buck hunting clothes made in the USA? And the answer is only some of their clothes are manufactured in the US, the large majority of them are made in Asia. Next up are Cabela's hunting clothes made in the USA. So Cabela is obviously a huge retailer and manufacturer, carries a lot of different brands, but their name brand stuff is largely imported. And lastly are field and stream hunting clothes made in the USA. So Field & Stream is a subsidiary of Dick's Sporting Goods, and the answer is no, pretty much all of their stuff is made in Asia. All right, that's it for this video on how to find hunting clothes made in the USA. If you have any questions, make sure to drop a comment below or shoot me a message on allamerican.org. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.